here's what the create table statement looks like, the DDL for our enriched customers table. Let's break this down. First, we've got a primary key on customer ID. It will handle deduplication de for us automatically. Finally, the real-time magic here. Here's what's beautiful about this. Every time something changes in the source tables, a new customer gets added, boom. It's simply there. It appears right in enriched customers. If someone changes their shipping address, it's there. A customer gets deleted. It gets filtered out automatically. It's no longer there. Uh, the watermark here is telling Flink how to handle late arriving data. Basically, with this five-second interval, we're saying give events up to five seconds to arrive before we consider them late. We're taking our customers table and doing two left joins with the addresses table. The reason that we do left joins here is because not every customer might have both a shipping and a billing address set up yet. And then finally, see where those where clauses are checking for the deleted flag? That's just us filtering out any soft deleted records. We only, of course, want active live data in our enriched views. And this is not a nightly batch job. This is continuous real-time data enrichment. So we've built an always up-to-date enriched data product that deduplicates based on primary key, filters out deleted records automatically, gives us a single place to query for complete customer information, and updates any source data changes in real time. And here's the kicker. The SQL we just wrote is not that different from what you'd write for a batch process. The complexity isn't in learning some crazy new syntax here. Flink SQL is just like other variations of SQL. It's just a little different because it uses real-time data.